Hi everyone. So this is a LCR meter. It's the BK Precision uh, BK879B. And I bought this one because I wanted to see how um, more accurate it would be compared to the less expensive um, Proster BM4070. I didn't do an unboxing on this, um, but this has been sort of reliable uh, for me, but I wanted something a little more robust, give me more, more uh, data out of my coils that I've been trying to create in the last two months, creating coils for my NFED half-wave antenna, which I'll be creating some videos on explaining you know some of my ups and downs with that so i just got this uh from amazon uh it comes from uh yorba linda california which is uh an interesting place because that's where sometimes i'll go to the regional park to uh, do some ham radio uh, communications so the box, really nice, really nice constructed. You receive a, um, a manual, very important to read the manual. Um, there's a few things in there that um, it's gonna be interesting um, to understand about using the unit, which the uh, Proster didn't have. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? We got the unit. Huh. Mm, doesn't weigh too much. Proster seems to weigh a little bit more, a little bit more, but it doesn't mean anything, right? It might be just the plastic. <laughs> um, very nice. Oh, it has a nice little kickstand. And I know that you unscrew here to put the battery. That's really nice, look at that. Um, it has these slots so that you can put the wires of what you're doing directly into the unit. Um, apparently you do that so you won't, so that the readings will be more accurate. The um, Proster does have that as well. Then you have the, the leads. And then this guard apparently is for certain projects. Has a, um, Nice little layout. I like it that um, it's probably going to be an automatic reading. There's a few things that the meter does. It does uh, inductance, capacitance, resistance, and impedance. And it does a parallel and series mode. And then it also has a phase angle indicator, a quality factor indicator, and dissipation factor indicators, which I'm not too familiar with, but I do know that sometimes when I measure the antenna, I do have um, a phase angle indicator. I'm not sure if it's the same, but it gives me more data. <clears throat> and as I learn, um, you know, creating these coils, that's, that's going to be very important to understand what's really going on. So this is the unit. What else comes in the box? Let's see. We have a power um, power cord, and it is 120 volts um, input. Output is 12 volts, 0.3 amps. Okay. Comes with some short leads and a USB cable that's nice for the computer and then comes with a battery apparently there it is uh, GP and it's an alkaline battery that's good um, Something that is a little more durable. And there it is. 
Okay, now let's uh, see if we can do this. Let's uh, open the the back to put the battery on there. Now I got this neat screwdriver set that looks like a pen. I'm gonna try that. See how that works out. Okay, screw is really easy to come off. That's good. That's a good thing. It's a good sign. Apparently you have to unscrew this and these two other screws to open the unit. One thing that you'll find placing the unit like this is fine. It's okay. Um, it has this lip right here that will protect the surface here. And there is a piece of plastic here that you can peel out. Okay. All right. And then here's the uh, battery that's protected. That's really neat. That's really nice. Okay. We'll get rid of that. Okay. And then make sure we have the right polarity. Positive. You can see there's a little positive sign. There's a positive there. Oh, that's interesting. You can... I don't know if you can go any farther. <clears throat> don't. <laughs> you never know. Uh, probably like this. There we go. Okay. Ah, of course, we gotta close it. <clears throat> Put the screw on. little tool to keep there on the desk. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so let's power it. Uh, if you press and hold on the power button, it gives you some user information on the unit. And there it is. Very nice. One of the things that is different uh, from the uh, Proster is that I can change the frequency uh, frequencies are important in determining the coil, um, the coil's proper uh, measurement in Henry's. And also, calibration is important. I know the ProStar has something like a calibration um, for the um, capacitor, but I don't know for the inductance. But here you can calibrate it, and it gives you an ability to make sure that something like the leads don't affect your uh, measurement. Uh, because I know the length of the leads can affect the way the coil is measured. So there it is. I think it's going to be a very nice unit to try out. Definitely I'm going to make um, maybe another movie or so on calibration and maybe how to measure a coil which is something that I'm really interested in doing at the moment. Okay, so I hope that was useful. If you have any questions, please leave it in um, down below in the comment section. And I hope you have a great day. And I hope I see you in the field as well. So this is Frank, KN6, BST. See you later. Bye-bye.